Chris, what's your seasons around here as far as, you know, your grouper season, snapper season, and all that good stuff? Well, our uh, wintertime action, we, we got a lot of kingfish, uh, tunas, wahoos, a few sailfish come through that time of year. Our uh, springtime stuff, we're doing a lot of this reef action. We got the mutton spawn, uh, the permit are spawning on the reef, and uh, we get a good uh, sailfish run that time of year. Then more towards summertime, we'll start dolphin fishing, do a little bit of nighttime sword fishing as well. So uh, we got year-round action here. That's what's great about this place. There's always something to do. Oh, there was a hit. Oh, he smacked it. There he is. Would you want a big one? I think this is a big one. Looks like he has a little bit more behind him. I think you might be right. <laughs> That was a thump. There's some color. Mutton. Another mutton. Look at this one. Whoo. A beauty. that one beautiful fish right there or what? Whew. Awesome. Absolute beauty. Well, I'm gonna take care of this one and uh, drop down for another. All right, Chris, we're gonna see what's on the bottom down here this time. See if we can get us a grown one. What's the, uh, what's the bottom structure like down here? Ah, uh, we're sitting in about 90 feet of water just off the edge of a reef. No, uh, we're trumming here. There's a lot of yellow tails, and uh, we're drifting back for the yellow tails. And, uh, dropping some baits down for the grouper. They're lurking underneath that school. A lot of good waves, too. Oh, you got one? Bonita's tearing us up. That ain't no Bonita. <laughs> that might be a grouper. Think, would you have that on the bottom? Yes, yeah, sir. Can you move this rod? What you think you got there? Hard to say. Ate a live bait on the surface. But he's heading down. Will you get them grouper coming all the way up to the top? They will sometimes. They come up following those yellow tails. Heck yeah. What's that? Black. Look at that. Look at that thing. On the spinning rod. All right. Look at there. That's what I'm talking about. That's another good eating size, isn't it? I think so. <laughs> Look at that. Got him on wire and everything. <laughs> I don't think they know it's grouper season yet. <laughs> How is your grouper population down here now? I've actually noticed a difference since they clo made that uh, closed season. Yeah. You know, you catch a lot more illegal fish out of season in, uh, you know, the shallow patches, all that area. It's uh, like I us. think it's been good for us. It's like us with the red snapper up there. We are inundated with red snapper up around yeah. Canabra right now. I mean, you cannot hardly get a bait down without, without catching a red snapper. You keep telling me about it. I, I got to get you, up there and You got to come up and do it. You do this chum thing like you do up there, you'd yeah. have a thousand red snapper around the boat. <laughs> we, me and my son were out last summer and I actually had them around the boat. And I was holding a DOA uh, jumping mullet or DOA swimming mullet about that far above the water. And they were sticking their heads out to eat it. Oh it was a, the coolest thing I've ever seen. But that's got to be the second coolest thing I've seen in a while <laughs> right there. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice one. Well, cool beans. 
get down there where Mr. Big lives. That was wild. Grouper up on the surface in 90 foot of water, huh? <laughs> They'll come right up. I've seen them up at 100 feet, 10 feet under the boat, just looking at them. Whoa! Go. <clears throat> yeah, you don't want to see him catch up in either. <laughs> I'll keep him out of the way for you, Blair. <sighs> you got some fight. Yeah, this one I think just realized he was hooked. So why I keep coming to the top? <sighs> Well, I busted my bonita off for you. Well, that's a good thing, because I think this one here oh, is yeah. another right color one. Another black. Well, I'm glad we got nine people on the boat, because... <laughs> we're we're going to fill the box today. Like, uh, like you said, you're allowed to keep one per person, but we got nine folks we're going to feed up here over the next, uh, well, two nights anyway. We got one night left here in Key West, and uh, maybe dinner, and then we'll be heading home. All right.